live. Anyway, I saw the kid in the street and we talked for a while. He was only 20. And I said, look, it was freezing. I said, look, come with me, you know. So he came with me. Yeah. How long and did he stay been, with you? It's been, well, he's still, it's a very interesting experiment. I think that was the start of December. Yeah. It's a bit like trading places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the film. I just say, like, I just trust him. And, you know, very quickly, he was responding to that. He was warm, he was safe, he, he didn't have to pay rent or anything like that. He was eating well. And uh, I've got a photograph of me, I won't show you because I don't want to sort of, yeah, you know, his privacy yeah, and all Yeah, that. I appreciate that. But then he, he sort of, uh, I'm about a foot taller than him, you see, so he was borrowing my suits. We started to look at job interviews. I let him do it, you know. Yeah. So he was going to job interviews in my suits, like Charlie Chaplin, you know, his <laughs> proudest bunch. And then, you know, just an insight into yeah. inequality. So he got a job in McDonald's. He was delighted and he came home with his McDonald's uniform. But it was a zero hours contract with no mm. security. Mm. So the bus cost him 750. He was getting six pounds 10 an hour. The first day they brought him in for two hours. And after two hours, they said, no, we don't need you any we longer don't. today. At the end of the week, he had had like six hours, yeah. 36. He had spent more than that in the bus. Mm. How do people live? Exactly. You know, how do people live? This yeah. is a s systemic problem. Yes. And, you know, he's working as a painter and decorator now, and as proud as punch, you know, and yes. then he saves a bit of money with me every Friday, you see. Yeah. And he's dyslexic with numbers. Right. So I could tell him I had anything, you know. <laughs> you know. Yes. And, uh, and he's absolutely thrilled every time he asks, you know, how much do I have now? How much do I have now? And the thing is that, you know, the alternative is very bleak. About a month after he was with me, I drove him down to go to the funeral of one of his friends who had died on the street of hypothermia. Yeah. 